Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. My name is Muhammad Fitri and today I will explain on water reticulation system which has been designed by our group member. All our group members will be credited at the end of the video so stay tuned. First of all, our pipe layout consists of three loops. Loop 1, loop 2 and loop 3. So why do we choose this is because it is simple yet maximize the water flow to be supplied to the residential area. We propose 250 mm diameter of pipe and the material that we use is unplasticized polyvinyl chloride. Why do we choose UPVC is because it has superior resistance to chemical erosion and it has smooth inner wall which less friction, friction loss occurs. So basically, first of all, we have to identify the knot in our layout. So here we have first knot, second knot, third knot and until the eighth knot. So the water will flow from the reservoir here. And we also have to identify the radius level on each knot. We also have to ident identify the platform level which you can use the formula here and also the top water level here. The next step is we have to identify the length of each pipe. So here we have pipe 1 to 2, pipe 2 to 3 and so on. Next, we have to calculate the water demand. So we have to identify the water will be supplied to where. So in our design, the water demand will be supplied. The water will be supplied to hostel, admin office and also the cafeteria. So how do we get this calculation is? Uh, first, uh, according to the Malaysian Water Association, Association guideline, so the water demand is 360 liter per day for each student as you can refer in appendix table 1 and based on the drawing, uh, each block has a 5 floor and it can be occupied 150 people per floor. So we get the num uh, equivalent population and based on equ equivalent population, we all, we can get the water demand for hostel. Uh, nonetheless, the admin office, you can use the same calculation as well. Uh, it's just that the water demand um, uh, will be different based on the appendix table 1. And next is you can find the water demand for cafeteria. And subtotal all the water demand to get the water flow, total water flow. Next, uh, we have to find whether we use peak flow or fire flow. So we have to calculate these two and compare them. So we calculated the peak flow and, fi and fire flow. And based on this calculation, um, we use the fire flow because it is higher than the peak flow. And we can get the total water from the reservoir here. We also propose the Specification of water tank. Next, in order to find the flow rate and the head loss in the pipe, we use heat balance method. As you can see here, we can we must assume how much uh, flow rate that will be distributed on each pipe and drop off. And also, we have to consider uh, the direction of the flow. So we consider the, it is clockwise here. Uh, we can find the head loss by using the hazen william equation. And also, we can find the correction of flow pipe by using the Hardy Cross method. As you can see from the first iteration here, uh, this is loop 1, loop 2, and loop 3. And you insert the flow rate that you assume here, and also the head loss that you calculated. And as you can see here, um, the summation of head, head loss not zero. So basically, you have to continue the iteration here. So we continue the sixth iteration here, and we get the Summation of H is 0. Next, we move on to the residual head. And you may, you can put the loss that you obtained from the iteration 6 before. And this first method is by, uh, by identifying the residual head. As you can see the formula down here. And we check whether it is greater than 7.6 meter or not. Since it is greater than 7.6 meter, then our design is accepted. So thank you for watching and also we would like to thanks our, to our lecturer for guidance on how to uh, guide us in this project and I would like to thank to our each of our group members uh, they have been considerably um, spend their time for this project and thank you.